Hey everybody, I'm Jack Reed and I'm the designer of the ECAS and Moritani expansion, which is the third expansion for the classic Dune board game, the 2019 edition from Gale Force 9. In this video, we're going to be focusing on uh, another element from one of the variants in this expansion, which is Discovery Tokens. And we are looking at the high reg tokens. And these are my double-sized high reg tokens for my double-sized playmat. So the real ones are a little bit smaller. Uh, but the way they work is you're going to have uh, extra spice cards dealt into the spice deck, and some of them that come up will have a discovery token, and it'll be either the high reg or it'll be a smuggler token, uh, but it'll let you know um, where there's going to be a spice blow and where to put uh, this discovery token. So this particular one uh, goes into Garakulan, which is way up here. So it's a little spot on the board that uh, there's never really any, any reason to ever go there. Um, and that was kind of why I designed this discovery tokens, but to open up the board, give players uh, other things that they can do on there besides going after spice or strongholds. So you place a, a high reg token, one of the four uh, face down, and you have to go there into that territory, in this case to Garakulan, to discover what is there. And the token that we're going to discover uh, today is called the cistern. Uh, and the cisterns are these... Fremen underground uh, cave uh, things that gather water. So they are, they're filled with water. And if you uh, go into this territory, into Garakulan, um, and you are the only faction there by the time you get to the spice collection phase, meaning that if other players wanted to discover what this token is, you would have had to have battled them and be the lone faction remaining. Uh, when spice collection happens, you get to peek at the token, and if you so choose, you can reveal it at that time. You do not occupy it at that time, but at the start of the next game turn, before the storm is calculated or moves, you may move into a newly discovered um, token. That is because one of the high regs is a stronghold, and we don't want people to just occupy strongholds suddenly at the end of a game, and then like, oh, look, I won. Uh, without really even fighting over that stronghold. So that's that's why that rule exists. Uh, but we don't want people to have to wait a whole other shipping and movement to be able to get in there. Now, this would be a territory in the territory. So if you do later on, you're moving around, you enter Garakulan, you're not automatically in the cistern. You'd have to have one more movement to get into the cistern. Uh, only two factions can be in there. It's stronghold rules at that point. Uh, this doesn't count as a stronghold for the win, but you can ship directly to it and only two factions can be in there. So what does the cistern do? Well, there's a little clue on here because you have these two little spice symbols on there, very similar to how they appear on Erkeen and Carthag when you're playing advanced. Uh, but this will work in basic as well, and it just means when you get to spice collection phase, you collect two spice. So it's a nice little extra small income by occupying the cistern. Water is uh, of great value on Arrakis, so that water translates to having two more spice in your coffers at the end of a game turn. So that's how it works. You're going to have three of these spice cards will be high regs, and three of them will be smuggler tokens. And there will be one extra sandworm card, card the Great Maker, which I'll talk about separately. Um, and they, these will be in three possible different locations um, so Garakulan is one of them. There's one in Meridian and one in Sialgo East. And those where the, the high reg tokens will go. Now, if the Fremen are in the game and there's a high reg token placed on the board, they can peek at it any time, as often as they like, is, uh, until it's discovered. Um, so they will know that there's a cistern here in Garakulan and they can decide, well, should we, should we try to get up there? It is a long trek to get there for the Fremen, uh, but it might be worth it. It might be worth it having that extra two spice. They only really need it for treachery cards or for helping out their ally. But uh, spice is, is generally pretty good to have for whomever has it. So that is it for this one. If you have questions about the cistern, let me know. Or uh, discovery tokens in general. If you had a chance to use them, let me know what you think of them. Um, I like that it does create these other areas of interest in corners of the board where there's usually not a lot of action. There's not a lot of reason to go to those locations. You're usually on your way somewhere else. Um, so there's a little bit of uh, extra intrigue and um, 
in a game with six or even more players, you now have something else you can do if you've been blocked from getting into any of those strongholds. Um, you do have to wander around the desert a little bit because these are, again, they're not in uh, high population centers. So that is it for this one. Thanks everyone for watching and we will see you again soon.